Lucky's here. Eat her. I oh, never get here. She must be very important now, Ernie. Working for Mick Collins. Too important to talk to the likes of us. Come on, it's a lovely evening. Go for a walk. Okay, oh, he's starving. No, it's all right. I'm not hungry at all. Do you want to see my scars? I was hit twice by the same bullet. It was the way I was crouching. Like this. With the rifle up on my shoulder. So the bullet went in here, came out, and then hit me in the stomach. Cheek of it to hit me twice. D does it hurt? The arm doesn't hurt, but sometimes I get awful pains in my stomach. Do you want to see those scars? All right. Sure you would, too. What sort of girl do you think I am? I, I didn't mean... Sorry. You take me for a floozy. No, no, Eta. I have the greatest respect for you. The greatest respect? Arnie. Arnie, I was only joking. Of course you can have a look, if you want. Cold now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice when the sun's out. When I left Dublin this morning, it would have frozen you. But then it got nice when I was Are on they? the train. Yes? You're looking a bit sheepish. Have you ever kissed a girl, aren't I? Yes. You have? How many times? Quite a lot of times. Same girl or different girls? Different, different girls. I'm impressed. How many? A good few. Uh, so you're the kind of plays around then, are you? No. N n no, Eta. I... Do you want to kiss me? Did it add your list of conquests? Wind would cut you. Right at the open. Come on. Eta. Come here. I think you're so handsome, don't you? I don't. You're very easy to tease, aren't I? <sighs> I'm sorry. You are handsome. You're the handsomest man I know. It's one of the reasons I like you so much. I didn't think you liked me. Whatever gave you that idea? You're so rude to me. You see, you'd notice me. You're behind a fountain shooting at soldiers. It's the kind of thing you tend to notice in a girl. I'm so worried about you. Scampering around all over Dublin like that. Do you like that? Arnie. Arnie. 
German Luger. Where'd you get this? A friend gave it to me. Maybe you know him. Used to be a citizen army man, Tom O'Toole. O'Toole? I remember him rightly. Is he still going around with that Egypt Kelly? Yes. They're both working for Collins now. What about Gallagher? Do you see him? I see him from time to time. He's very cold and superior always. Are you jealous? Did you kiss him? You've nothing to be jealous about. Have you fired it? No. I only have five rounds. Well, it hadn't a great reputation, the Luger, but I suppose it's better than nothing. Even with only five bullets. You better go home now. Daddy'll kill me staying out so late. He's going mad. Did you not hear the shooting? What shooting? Rita, get on side. Come on. What shooting? The new Lodge Road. They got two RIC men. Are they dead? Rita. They're dead, all right. Is it close? The new Lodge Road. It's about a mile away towards the town. The peelers are going mad. And the military. You should have seen the Crosleys going up and down the road. And all the lorries. There must have been a hundred soldiers. We bombed St. Matthews this afternoon. They bombed the church. Aye, the orange man. Threw a bombing. Lucky there was only confessions, so there would have been more people hurt. Somebody's going to pay for that tonight. Yes, and somebody will pay in the morning for whatever's done tonight. Sure, what one side does, the other side does worse the next time. So you probably bombed that church because that Protestant woman was shot in Ivan Street. Or that Protestant man. What was his name, you know, the one in the Grosvenor Road? No. Do you know? Blair. Aye, Blair. He was laying the new tram lines in the Grosvenor Road. Just come up and shot him dead. This would sound terrible to someone from Dublin. You must think we're all savages up here. Not at all. But I had no idea. I mean, you'd read about it in the papers, but you wouldn't really take it in. Well, when is it all going to end? When we get a republic. Thanks, Tom. I'd love to live in Dublin. I was up there once for a cousin's wedding. Here, where are you going? Just out. Oh, don't you go far. I thought you'd be starved, Ernie. I've hardly touched your food. Is there something wrong with our mammy's cooking? Not at all. Mammy's very insulted, aren't you, mammy? Uh, I've never had better, Mrs. Feeney, I can assure you. Yeah. It's very polite, isn't he, mammy? Ursula, will you stop torturing that poor fella? There's no sense in you trying to get home tonight, Billy. You and Ernie can sleep in the attic. The girls will make up a bed. Thanks, Mr. Feeney. <laughs> 